folks, this is Custom Chess from Roma Custom Bike and in this episode we'll finish the process of two-tone powder coating on the gas tank. So last night I finished masking the gas tank in the comfort of my living room with the AC and everything and uh, I'm about to show it to you but do you remember on Pip My Ride when the client would come in and see finally his, uh, his car and they would do the unveiling and everything and everybody would react Oh my god I can't believe it everybody moved their arms like this Well. That's how I want you to react when you see this! Huh? Huh? Nice, huh? Huh? <laughs> but let's be serious for a moment. Now we have to wash the tank again to remove all the oils from the hands and uh, whatever debris uh, uh, stuck to the tank while working on it. And we're gonna apply the second coating of paint. Before starting the process I would like to give you a little technical detail. If the object you're about to powder coat has a dent or a big scrape on it, you cannot use Bondo, Potty or regular lead to fix it, because all of these materials will melt in the oven at curing temperature. So you're left with two options. The first one is the lead-free lead from Eastwood, which I'm yet to try. The second option, which is the one I use in this case, is to use a welder and a grinder. First I filled up the dent with the weld, and then I grind it down. The process is repeated as many times as needed until the surface is nice and flat. It's tough work, but it works. Now, let's get back to our tank. After cleaning it and spraying it with powder over the masking tape, it ends up in the oven. And this is where the drama began. I'm showing you this so you don't have to repeat my mistakes otherwise. What the hell am I doing here, right? I left the tank in the oven for the usual 20 minutes, but once I started to remove the high temperature tape, I made a gruesome discovery. Due to the high temperature for a prolonged period of time, the first layer of paint melted and took the shape of the masking tape. Here is my immediate reaction and as you can see, I was quite distraught. Unfortunately, last night I realized that uh, these tanks have to be scrapped and start over. Um, as you can see, I forgot to remove the masking tape uh, right after flow out and um, the bottom layer of powder coating melted in the oven and took the shape and the wrinkles of the tape. Unfortunately, under the uh, silver leaf, the surface has to be incredibly flat otherwise anything will show through since the, the leaf is so thin and uh, here we have all these wrinkles that yesterday I've tried extensively to remove with uh, sandpaper but still you can tell that they show through so these tanks, both of them, will have to be sandblasted again and uh, powder coated the two layers and everything from the beginning including the masking and everything all it was left to do is start the old process again starting for stripping the paint a specifically designed product for the removal of powder coating but still it was pretty hard work. So I managed to bring the tank back to the metal. Then I resprayed the black base color. I recured it in the oven for 20 minutes and finally I recreated the design with the high temperature tape. It took about 12 hours of hard work to get back at the same point where I was before the accident.
and more déjà vu. Spray the wrinkled black powder again, and then back in the oven. But this time, I kept the tank in there just enough for the paint to flow out, so that the paint wouldn't stick to the tank only electromagnetically. Here you can see the moment where the paint is starting to get its texture. So I pulled it out of the oven and I let it cool off. While we wait for the tank to be cool enough to be touched, I would like to show you another product from our sponsor Lux-Metal.com. It's called Powder Lux, the plastic headlight regeneration kit. This kit is specifically designed to bring back clarity and transparency to old plastic headlights that with time have become yellow and opaque. In the box you will find all you need to complete the restoration process, from the different types of sandpaper that you will need to remove the surface damage, to the buffing wheel, including the support so that it can be installed in any household drill. And in the end you will also find the buffing compound needed to restore transparency to the headlight. Please visit lux-metal.com and try this kit for yourself along with all the other great restoration products from this company. In one of the next episodes, we will put this product to a real test. So remember to subscribe to this channel to make sure you will not miss it. And now that the tank is cool enough to be touched, let's get back to our powder coating process. I started removing very delicately the high temperature tape masking. Very, very delicately. I immediately noticed that the film of paint over the tape was a bit more brittle than usual. But we'll talk about that later. I'm using latex gloves to avoid leaving fingerprints or skin oils over the paint, since the curing process is not yet done. At this point the tank goes back in the oven to complete the curing process for the remaining 20 minutes at temperature. I keep track of both the temperature and the time meticulously. And now all there is to do is wait. And while the tank is baking, I want to show you what I actually meant before when I was talking about the paint being brittle. This is a piece of tape with some powder coating on it that has been in the oven only until flow out. As you can see, the paint is very brittle, weak and has no elasticity. The next piece of tape has been in the oven for the full curing time of 20 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. At that temperature there is an actual chemical process that occurs and changes the molecular structure of the paint, making it very elastic and very resistant. And that is why it's so important to keep track of both the parts temperature and not the oven temperature, because that's a different thing and the time. In the meantime, the curing process is over and the tank can now come out of the oven and cool off. And this is the final result. The next step will be to apply the silver leaf on the flat black areas, but that is a process that we'll do in another episode. That's it for now folks, please visit our new sponsor website lux-metal.com and leave a comment, click the like button and if you really 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 like the show, why not, tell your friends. So I'm Custom Chess and I'll see you in the next episode of Roma Custom Bike.